again. Now you cry yourself to sleep. Cry yourself to sleep. Lastly, because I know you've got a performance to do, um, you've been through a lot in your life, musically and just life-wise. For someone out there that might be struggling or wants to follow in some of your footsteps with music, what advice would you give them? I always tell them, don't, don't quit your day job. You know, you know how you call a musician in New York? Oh, waiter. <laughs> so, no, but you do have to follow your heart. And, uh, but people ask me all the time, oh, I want to share my chanting with the world. And I say, really? Something wrong with you? Do you have a headache? Should I call a doctor? I don't want to share my chanting. I don't want to sink. I don't want to, I don't want to sink in this ocean. I want to stay alive. And chanting keeps me alive. If, if I was doing it for somebody else only, like, uh, then it wouldn't work. But I'm, cha I'm, cha I'm sharing the very practice that I do that keeps me uh, up to here in the water. I don't think, I don't think, and I go, oh, I think, and I'm okay. So it's not about wanting anything from this. It's about wanting to find that love that lives within us as who and what we really are, and freeing ourselves from, from our negative emotions and our destructive emotions and the pain and the grief and the betrayal and the fear and the shame and the anger and the greed. These are the things we have to free ourselves from. That's what the chanting is a spiritual practice that will do that. Mm -hmm. But you have to be doing it for the right reasons right. to some degree. Mm -hmm.